And this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Craig Stickling at Yarrawonga Mawela Golf Club Resort, where he's going to teach us about the importance of the golf club's bounce in a bunker. But before we start, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new lesson is released. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you how to lose four shots or more from your handicap in three months or less. But before I do, let's find out about the importance of the golf club's bounce in a bunker. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. The importance of bounce in a bunker. So a lot of times people ask about bounce and what's bounce, how does that work on wedges? And to be totally honest with you, there's a lot of wedges out there, different manufacturers out there that gives you different bounce options. The easiest way to do that is actually speak to your local PGA professional to fit you with the correct wedge. But today I'm br briefly going to show you how bounce actually works in a bunker. So if we look at the golf club, the, if my hand is the sand, if the club is square on the sand, you can see the leading edge. If I tilt the club a bit open, you can see the bottom of the club with a bounce where my finger is. And that's the degrees of bounce that each club will have. So to put it to you like this, if I'm in the bunker and the club is like that, and the club comes into the sand, the bottom of the club where the bounce is will interact with the sand, not the leading edge of the club. So the bounce will actually get the club in and out of the sand. So less bounce in the club will be that, where the leading edge is closer to the sand. More bounce in a club will be that, where the leading edge is higher and away, further away from the sand. So if you play in sand that's very soft, very thick, we always want to encourage more bounce for the club to get through the sand a lot easier. If you play in bunkers where the sand is not so thick and it's quite a little bit of a sand, then we want a wedge that's got less bounce so it can act to interact with the sand and actually move through the sand a bit quicker. So hopefully that helps and hopefully you can understand a bit more about the bounce of the club and enjoy. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Remember to ask a question in the comments below if you need even more help. And feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. As promised earlier, I want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So I want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which has been designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. I look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.